Hello, today there has been a major earthquake near Hawaii and there has been rare earthquakes near Davis, California. Starting over in Hawaii one hour ago, there was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake on the main island. This was just south of Kilauea. There was also a magnitude 4.6 just about 20 seconds before the magnitude 5.1. Also amongst these quakes are a few other larger quakes all on the southern part of Kilauea. There are 630 felt reports in one hour for that magnitude 5.1. It does have a reviewed status. It looks like the entire island felt an MMI of at least 3. Pulling up strong motion seismometers in Hawaii we can see the signature of that magnitude 5.1 earthquake on most of these stations. Also, here are a few stations for the EHZ channel. It looks like the current update on HVO for Kilauea does not include information about these recent earthquakes. Also, yesterday at 2220, there was a major magnitude 6.4 earthquake near Papua New Guinea. It is 9 felt reports, and the MMI is a 6. So not too long ago, there was another magnitude 5.1 near the Southeast Indian Ridge. Coming over to Spokane, Washington, there was a magnitude 2.9 explosion yesterday at 2240. For an explosion, a magnitude 2.9 is relatively large. Zooming into the area, that does appear to be a quarry, or some kind of mining operation. Now, this does have a negative depth that was reviewed, and there are zero felt reports. Now, this did explode near a populated area, so I would have expected a few felt reports. So, coming over to this area in the past 30 days, there is another event on October the 3rd, now this was a magnitude 1.6 explosion and it has uh, did you feel it reports. It has the exact same depth also. Now although this was a smaller magnitude event, it has did you feel it reports while the recent one, a larger event, does not have any did you feel it reports. I would expect the larger one to have some did you feel it reports, especially since they also occurred at the same time in the day. Also a little bit more in this area, a bit more north, there was a magnitude 1.0 explosion on September the 22nd and then a bit more south there was a magnitude 1.5 explosion on October the 5th. There was also an earthquake in this area a 1.6 on September 30th. Here is a seismometer in Deer Park just north of Spokane. We can see around the time of that explosion there is a signal but it is the signal of a distant large earthquake. Coming to Central California, there were two very rare and small earthquakes near Davis, California. There was a magnitude 2.0 earthquake today at 0422 UTC. And then there was another earthquake just a few hours before that one yesterday at 2302 UTC. Neither of these earthquakes have any fault reports. So I highlighted this area here of Central California. These are all the earthquakes ever recorded by the USGS for this area, starting at magnitude 0 and above. With that, we can see just how rare these two earthquakes are. We can see a few miles north and just south of Woodland. There is this group of earthquakes here, and this group has occurred over many years. In the area, the most recent quake is a magnitude 1.6 near Winters, California. That was six months ago. Finally, we can end it over here on Windy where we can see that Tropical Storm Carl is making landfall in southern Mexico. Thank you for checking out today's video and stay tuned for the next one.